Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm gonna be showing you two different ways to boil cabbage, and therefore both very different applications. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified when we upload. Okay, so this first way is to make cabbage rolls. So basically for cabbage rolls, um, you just wanna very gently peel off whole cabbage leaves and um, that way they stay whole so that you can like stuff them and you know, then eventually make cabbage rolls with them. But this is uh, just really simple to do. And a lot of people do this in various ways. My grandmother used to just boil the whole head of cabbage and then like stick her fingers in the boiling water and slowly peel off the leaves as they got done. Um, but that seems a little ridiculous to me. <laughs> so I have some water and it's just simmering. It's not like a full rolling boil and I'm just putting the leaves in whole like this and I'm gonna get a wooden spoon and I'm just gonna very gently push them down because you don't want to tear them or anything. Otherwise you'll have rips in your cabbage rolls. So, and you just wanna like kinda let those simmer until they get soft and pliable, until they feel like um, you could handle them without them ripping while you're stuffing them with cabbage rolls. And this is very boring <laughs> to sit here and watch full cabbage leaves boil. Uh, so, you know, but it is a, cabbage rolls are a labor of love, I think. <laughs> so. And you just wanna keep an eye on them. You don't want them to get too overdone, otherwise they will start to, if you cook them for way too long, then they're gonna be like mushy cabbage and you don't really want that. You just want them pliable enough so that they will make good cabbage roll wrappers. So I got out a plate with a paper towel to set these on when they're done. And I felt like they were starting to get there and so I decided to start taking them out. They still have a little bit of shape, but see how floppy they are? They're much more pliable. And almost no burned fingers. And there they are, ready to make cabbage rolls. That one, not quite so much. <laughs> So the second way to make boiled cabbage is to make boiled cabbage and probably what you were actually thinking when I started this video. So I'm gonna take my head of cabbage, I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna cut out the core, the part that like attaches the cabbage to the ground uh, or to the plant. And you don't want that in there because it's hard and gross. And then I'm just gonna cut my cabbage. So I cut it in half, now I'm gonna cut it into quarters. And then I'm just gonna cut that into roughly bite-sized pieces. You want things to be about the same size so that they cook really evenly. And I'm just gonna set that aside once I'm done chopping it up. Okay, so I am gonna season what I'm gonna boil the chicken in. So I'm boiling some chicken stock. I didn't have chicken stock in the bottle, but I did have some better than bouillon chicken and that works just as well. You wanna add your butter, some seasonings, and if you haven't, add some bacon. Uh, I would par cook the bacon. That's just a personal preference. Or I would wait until the end and add the bacon at the end so that it could be crunchy, but that's a personal preference. Then you wanna add a couple potatoes. So the potatoes are gonna add some texture, but they're also gonna help a little bit if you get if you get gas when you eat cabbage, the potatoes will help with some of that. <laughs> also adding a in a little baking soda will help with that as well. You wanna let the potatoes cook for just a few minutes before you add the cabbage, depending on, now if you like your cabbage very well done, like if you like it really cooked, then you could add the potatoes at the same time and they're gonna cook just fine. But if you want your cabbage to be a little bit crispier, a little crunchier, uh, you're gonna cook your cabbage for not, not enough time to cook the potatoes all the way. That was very confusing. It just really depends on how well done you like your cabbage. And that, I think, depends on where you're from. I 
So you want to cook your cabbage um, to the desired texture. If you want it a little less done, I'd say cook it for about 10 minutes. If you want it more done, you know, cook it for 15, 20 minutes. But there it is. If you want to see more recipes, be sure to check out Loaves and Dishes, and thanks for watching.